Hi, it's Nicole with Soulful Sounds Vibrational Sound Therapy, and I'm here today to uh, answer a question that's commonly asked to me, and that is, what is sound therapy anyway? Well, sound therapy isn't like um, therapy for our physical bodies, although it can help with physical symptoms. It's not really sound therapy for our emotional or mental bodies, although it can help um, with those symptoms as well. This is a therapy really for our soul. And um, of course, our mind, body, spirit, so everything's connected. So where we are um, focusing our attention in one area, of course, we're gonna reap benefits throughout. So there is a lot of um, physical benefits. There are a lot of emotional and mental benefits to the practice of sound therapy, yet sound is one of the languages of the soul. Like any art, there you can describe with language. You can share an emotion and still there's still an element that can't be expressed, right? And so um, think of your favorite piece of music. How does it move you? Can you share the essence of the song with others? Can you put into words how the song moves you into a deeper space in which you feel or experience that song? It's kind of hard to do that, right? Um, the same is true with all art. We can share techniques and inspirations, emotions of an art, yet it is very personal to each individual. Unique to each person, art also reflects within us um, our own vantage point right, how we see the world, what our perceptions are. And so oftentimes any layer of art is simply a mirror to us. And so how we show up in front of that piece of art is what we're going to receive from that piece of art. Same with a, with a gong, right? We even call them sound mirrors. How you show up with a gong is going to be how you're going to receive what the gong has to say, right? And so <clears throat> these are just some really awesome ways that we can describe sort of. Yet, again, um, there really isn't a language for the kind of work that we do with sound therapy, art therapy, equine therapy even. Um, so now that I have that disclaimer out of the way that although I'm going to do my best to describe what sound therapy is, I'm not going to be able to really 100% um, capture that. Really, the only way to understand it is to experience it. But I'll do the best I can. So, with that being said, let's have a glimpse of the vastness of this subject. Sound therapy uses harmonic tones around the body to create a dreamy, almost mystical experience. Tones used during a sound therapy session mimic white noise that you would find in nature, like a babbling brook, or the wind through the trees, or creating layers of sound from the rain as it hits the ground, the rooftop, right? And so through these harmonics and overtones and, and layers of sound, our body goes into a deep restorative relaxa relaxation state, right? And we start calling down to um, how we were divinely designed to operate in the world, right? Bliss, nirvana, heaven on earth, that's all available to us. Um, yet sometimes these divine and optimum design pro systems aren't working the best because we're constantly running from a zipper to tiger, right? In the form of an email, traffic, um, words that are said to someone, sometimes even our own thoughts, right? A lot of the times, even our own thoughts. And um, so when we get into these harmonic spaces where we can get back into our natural rhythms, then oftentimes I'll introduce some surprise into these harmonic tones. And these surprises act to offer us sometimes new awarenesses, different insights, um, new epiphanies, the ability to observe our thoughts and emotions as an observer, unattached to memory. These deep states of reaction, combined with the ability to absorb ourselves, not in the moment, but observing the moment, create euphoric and blissful and oftentimes mystical experiences. This bliss state gives us the feeling of floating, which you'll often hear, and if you've looked at any of my reviews, you'll see that a lot of people share that they have been floating, or they've had an out-of-body experience, or they felt like they were awake but asleep awake but asleep. They were fully aware of what was in the room, but then they also felt like they were dreaming at the same time. And so these, when we get into these spaces, this allows 
us to go into the, our ability to open up the receiving mind. And then when we're in the space of openness and we're able to just receive anything, any messages that want to come through, that's where we can find deep states of connectedness, deeper connection, deeper awareness, good revelations. A lot of people have strong senses of creativity in these spaces. Um, epiphanies, new directions. I have a lot of customers who's even um, decided to explore the healing arts for themselves and are um, actively pursuing their passions in the healing arts with, with me in a different way. But yeah, like there's really some profound things that happen inside of these spaces. And so there's a little glimpse of what I can convey to you that sound therapy can offer for you and again like I said you have to experience it to really understand it so I'm going to attach a clip um, to this so that you can have a moment inside of the space as well. Thank you so much for listening and if you want to book a session with me all you have to do is go to www soulful sounds bst vibration as stands for vibrational sound therapy.com and you can book a session with me there also i do have a really powerful experience coming up with willow grace mystic where her and i are going to get together and we're creating what's called sound soul and psychic now this has been done in the past and it has been absolutely profound we've actually named it we've been perfecting this for a while so we called it sacred giant uh, geometry meditation um, we called it sound soul and psychic and i think it's had a couple of other names as well um, and this is where we gather um, 15 or so like-minded women together and we um, we share from our spirit level we learn learn how we receive intuitive or psychic messages and then we practice sharing these messages with this safe and sacred space that we're in with these other women and what happens inside of these spaces it, it's just absolutely profound. I'm not going to be able to share a lot of the details because some of it is very personal and private and what stays in the circle, what happens in the circle stays in the circle. I'm sure you can understand that. But there are some people who come in who don't even know how they receive intuitive messages and by the end um, what they're sharing with a group is so profound and moving and healing for others. And so there's going to be some tears, bring some extra tissues, but there's also going to be some really powerful moments where you're going to see yourself in a very different light. Um, so I invite you to check that out. Again, www.soulfulsoundsbst.com forward slash events for that and uh, join us because it's going to be a game changing moment for you. With all my love, I'll catch you next time and I'll see you soon.